Hey there, this is Tyler from WTFX. Today we're looking at an animation plugin that can be used in a variety of projects. Let's dive in. CC Page Turn. Believe it or not, you've been seeing this plugin every time you watch one of our videos, and in fact, you've already seen it in this one. Don't believe me? Rewind the tape! See? Right there. That is CC Page Turn. I guess this tutorial should have been a book, because the page just turned. One of the great things about this plugin is that it's so versatile in how it can be used. I mean, it can be used to animate flipping leaves, turn the page of a storybook, or even as a cheap trick to simply segue to the next slide because you weren't creative enough to come up with anything better. But how does it work? The first option we get is for controls. The default is bottom right corner, but when we drop down this menu, the options are classic UI, top left corner, top right corner, bottom left corner, and bottom right corner. These bottom four options simply state which corner will do the actual turning, as you can see when we select the different options. The next option is Fold Position. This shows the X and Y coordinate of where the page corner will be. You can see it on the screen right here. You can change its position three ways, by clicking and dragging, sliding the X or Y coordinates, or clicking on the bullseye here, and then clicking on the screen where you'd like it to go. And as you can see, it is keyframable, which is how you would actually animate the page turning. Next is Fold Radius, which dictates how rounded the fold here will be. Make this number smaller to decrease its size until it looks, well, completely flat, or make this number larger to make the edge bigger and more rounded. Light Direction tells the plugin what direction the light should be coming from, as there is a highlight right here. As we turn the page dial, you'll see that the highlight fades away and a shadow appears, until we continue turning and the highlight comes back. Render tells the plugin which side of the image or footage you'd like to see. It defaults showing both the front and the back, however, if you only want to see one, simply click on the drop down menu here and select which side you'd like to see, the front only or the back only. Backpage allows you to select what image you want to use for the backside. Say you want to use this image of George Washington. Simply drop it into the timeline, turn off its visibility, and select it from the first dropdown. But wait, there's a second dropdown menu. This is simply in case you want to make any modifications to the image that you'll be using for the back. Please be aware that if your back image is a different size than the front image, the plugin is going to squish the back image, as you can see here. By default, the second dropdown is set to Source. But let's say you only want to see certain parts of that backside image. That's fine. Simply go to the layer that is being used as the backside, mask in the areas you want to keep, go back to the original plugin, and select Masks. What this does is this will only then show the areas that you decided to keep using masks. But what if you need to apply another plugin to alter the actual look of the backside image? That's fine too. Simply apply the new effect to that backside image, Go back to the CC Page Turn plugin and select Effects and Masks to see it applied. Back Opacity changes how see-through the backside of the image is. It defaults at 85, but can range anywhere between 0, which means you can't see the backside at all, to 100%, which means you can't see the front side at all. Paper Color is an option for the backside of the footage, but you'll notice that no matter what color we change it to, nothing changes. That's because we currently have the image of George Washington on the other side. If we change the back page to None, you'll see that now we can control the color. This leaves us to the final control that we haven't discussed, the classic UI. This whole time, Fold Direction has been grayed out, but when you select Classic UI, it then becomes available. You'll see that when we select the Fold Position and move it around, the page will only move at that negative 60 degree angle, no matter where I move the Fold Position. Fold Direction is how you can alter this. Just like Light Direction, we're able to spin the dial to get the image to fold in different directions. Whether you like the cheap segue possibilities inherent with this plugin, or you suddenly feel nostalgic for the storybooks of yore, I think there's one thing we all can agree on. Classic UI kind of seems completely pointless. Thanks for watching. I am so sorry for what you just watched. See that big red subscribe button? Definitely don't click that and don't hit the bell icon either because doing either of those will let you know when we upload new content. And you see those two clips of the other videos that we made? 
you don't want to check those out. I just steer clear of them. I mean, you you just watch one of our videos. That's why. In fact, what you may even want to do is, is just shut down your computer. If you live near a canal or a river, maybe even take the computer and just throw it in one of them. 